Welcome to creating queries for Microsoft Access databases. Before we start, it's worth taking a look at the database and the information it contains. So this is a database of um, albums, LPs, released on vinyl. We've got an ID number that uniquely identifies each of the albums in the database. We've got the artist information and the title. So ABBA, for example, Greatest Hits. Label is the record label that the item was released on. Catalogue number is the unique number that identifies that album. We've got the year of release, the current value of the item, and a column called Special, which holds sort of extra information. For example, this record is a picture disc. If we scroll down, we can see that we've got some US versions, different releases, picture discs, signed by the band. So it's a sort of extra information column. So let's have a look at making some queries. Queries use things called operators to help us narrow down our searches. So I'll just show you an example of some of these. So in here we've got a list of operators. So equals is probably the one you'll be most familiar with. So if we search this database for artist equals scorpions, we would find all records where the artist was the scorpions. We can also use greater than, less than, between and wildcards in our searches and I'll show you how to use all of these. Okay, let's go back to our database then. When you open your database it will be in table view and you need to go into queries to make a new query. So to create a query, double click on create query in design view, add in our music database and click close. You can resize this window if you want to so that you can see all of the information. And you can make this bigger so you can see all of your fields. So I'm going to do a simple search for artist and title. If you double click on the fields it adds them in. We're going to look for equals scorpions. When you've typed in all the search criteria that you want you simply click on the exclamation mark to run the query. So this finds all the records by the Scorpions, gives us the title of all the albums and tells us the label they were released on. And it, if you look down here you can see that it found 11 records that matched our query. You can narrow queries down even further. Let's say I wanted a list of Scorpions albums released on EMI. I can come back into my query. I can go to label and I can type in EMI. So this search is finding every record where the artist is Scorpions and, and released on the EMI label. There we go. If you want to see the data, you can of course make the columns wider. If you want to, you can save queries so that you can run them again. And simply choose OK. If you close the query down, you can see it's here. If you double click on it, it will run it straight away. So let's have a look at some more of our operators now. Let's find some records using greater than and less than. So create query in design view, add our table in, click close. Again, resize the windows if you want to. You don't have to do this, but it can make it easier when starting out to see all of the fields that you're working with. So I want to find some valuable records. I'd like to know who they're by, so I'm going to add in the artist and the title. I'd also like to know what year they were released. And of course I need our value field because that's what I'm going to search. So let's find all the records that are worth more than £100. So we use the greater than arrow and then type in our figure click on run to run the query and here you can see that there are 16 records that are worth more than £100. If you make a mistake you can come back and edit the query. For example I might want record to include records that are £100 so in that case I would search for greater than 99. This changes the results of our query we can see that we have 19 records. Less than works in exactly the same way, so this time I'm going to find records that are worth less than £100. Type in your criteria and then run the query. You can see we've got quite a few more records here and it's going to take a while to tell us how many there are. There are 1,394. 
Let's come back now, delete that. You don't have to save all of the queries. You simply need to save them if you're going to run them very often. The last operator that I want to show you is between. Let's say we wanted to find out all of the records that were, were released between 1965 and 1968. So we type in between 1965 and 1968. When we click run, it will give us a list of those years. You can see here there are 62 records that meet my search. We can also use wildcards in searches. Let's say I want to find all of those records again between 1965 and 68, but I want to find records by bands beginning with S, but I can't remember quite what the band is called. This is where a wildcard, which is an asterisk symbol, shift and the number 8, is really useful. For example, by typing in S and the wildcard, this should restrict our list to only artists beginning with S. And you can narrow it down further if you can remember, for example, that the band starts with SP. We can use SP and then the wildcard and narrow it down. So wildcards can be very useful when you know a little bit of information, but not all of your information. And you'll find this symbol commonly used all over the internet.